All right, we're live again for part two. Hello, hello, we're back. We're making Mimi Dahlia's homemade gefilte fish. Excuse the look, the mask. Now Sarah's joined us, Sarah, where are you? Here's my sister. It's a family affair, we're learning, hello. learning. We've learned a lot of times, but we, you know, we have to learn every time. So just so you know, no judging, we're all vaccinated, but Sarah and I are still wearing masks just to keep Mama and Artie safe. All right, here we are, we are so the first part you were caught up, right? We were making homemade gefilte fish in these two big pots. In case you missed the first video, we are cooking heads and bones, carrots, onions, sugar, salt, and water. We've got two big pots. I think one's a 16 quart, one's a 14 quart. And over here in our trusty 50 year old KitchenAid mixer, we mixed, you probably saw the first part in the first video. We had to do it in two parts but eight and three quarters pounds of buffalo carp, white fish, and pike. Someone asked what fish she uses. Buffalo carp, white fish, and pike. Here is the recipe. This is an almost 50 year old copy of a recipe that comes from my grandma Susan. That's Mimi Dahlia's mom, who's made this recipe for how long, mom? I mean, you know, made it her whole life. That came from Poland from her mom, her mom, you know how it goes. This is the real deal, homemade gefilte fish, no jars in this kitchen. So up here, we've got the fish mixture. So to four pounds, we do two onions processed, half a cup of matzo meal, a cup of water, two teaspoons salt, four teaspoons sugar. It's always twice the amount of sugar to salt. We actually went with three eggs instead of two and we couldn't find our white pepper. Down here is what's in the pot. So it's about four or five quarts of water, the heads and the bones, like I told you before, the eyes were looking at me in the <laughs> sink, it was hard to see. And we've got a tablespoon of salt, two tablespoons sugar, four carrots cut up in big chunks, two onions. Actually, we did one large onion, right? Because they were super, super large. Yeah, Hi. Yeah. All right, so part two of gefilte fish. You saw the broth, you saw the mixture. Okay, so these are Here two we mixtures, because the KitchenAid bowl only holds four quarts, so. Now what? How do we get from that well, to get filled to fish? We might yeah. not be ready yet. I don't remember what time we put up. Um, the, let's see. This has to cook for an hour and a half, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Careful they don't jump out at you. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, we started, let's see, it's 1030 here. And mom, we started, I got here about 845 or, eight or so. So they've been cooking probably. since about nine. So it's about yeah. an hour and a half. Yeah, maybe just a little bit longer. We want all the flavors from the onion and the fish and the bones and the carrots and in case you're wondering this is the famous cooking shirt this was intentional oh, yes. this, this shirt yeah mama works for the milken foundation 35 year more 33 years no september 34 years so this is the famous cooking shirt right the fish tastes better if you wear this if you wear this while you're cooking i'm just saying this was intentional and i cut off the neck of course you did to have a t-shirt neck around yes color color so if you wear your schleppiest clothes your fish will taste better and of course if you have luke watching you while you cook it'll taste better years ago i went to Jeannie's house to drop off some Mongo bread or, or um, chopped liver or something. And she and I were both cooking on that day and I showed up in this shirt. And she, of course, was also wearing a t-shirt with the neck cut out. Jeannie, you do not wear t-shirts. Jeannie wears t-shirts? <laughs> yeah, only to cook in. Jeannie's mom is best friends since they're six years old. <laughs> Their parents were Holocaust survivor best friends, and, and their birthdays and are a day apart. Their so birthdays they are celebrate their birthdays yep, together. two days apart. Jeannie yeah. is the sixteenth, yes. and Mom is the eighteenth. Yeah. All right, so we want all the flavors of these heads, bones, carrots, onions, sugar, salt, boiling away. Not really boiling. You want a very simmer, gentle yeah. simmer, low boil. Right? Yeah, we don't want the. We just want a lot of flavor in there. You cannot cook gefilte fish in plain water because it won't taste of anything. Right, we've got to make the broth. Save yourself the money and the effort. <laughs> so it's got to cook in a flavored broth. Yeah, if you haven't had homemade gefilte fish, you're missing out. And if you haven't had mom's homemade gefilte fish, right? Right, Sarah? <laughs> I won't eat any other gefilte fish ever. It grosses me out, but mom's is amazing. Oh, yeah. Mom's is the best. Mm -hmm. Mom's is the best everything. Chopped liver, brisket, 
chicken soup, matzo balls, salmon all of it. Patties. Salmon patties. Oh, oh my <laughs> gosh. Salmon patties are our family's <laughs> favorite, that's, favorite, that's favorite. The next, uh, the next, the next oh yeah, we should do a live of salmon patties. It's a, it's a family affair. Cooking with Mimi. Cooking with Mimi. And I know it's not Hala, and we've never done a live here, but we had some interest in people wanting to do a Zoom, watch her make fish, and we just couldn't get it together, but we figured this way it will at least be recorded. And if nobody else cares, Sarah and I will care. Yes. Because we're going to have to keep this uh, tradition alive. Yes, you are. Hi, well, Debbie. I'm not the Hi, horseradish. Debbie Lewin. I see you watching. Oh, right. We make horseradish from scratch. Why don't you say what goes in your horseradish while we're waiting these few minutes? Um, horseradish. Beets. Um, beets. Some sugar. canned beets and a little bit of the beet juice. A little sugar, a little lemon juice, and just and uh, fresh grated, fresh grated, fresh fresh grated horseradish. horseradish. Yeah. And I actually do it in the uh, Cuisinart. Yeah. I, I so hard horseradish root, beet, beet juice, a little juice, lemon juice, sugar, sugar. sugar. That's it. Yeah. Maybe Sometimes you grate it. A drop of salt. You oh. used to grate it by hand. No, Grandpa Alvin used to grate oh, it. Oh, Grandpa hand. Alvin grated it by hand. Yeah. And Grandma, Grandma Ethel made him do it outside. Yeah, so strong. <laughs> that horseradish so strong. is so strong. <laughs> it will make you cry when you eat this horseradish. If it doesn't make you cry, it's not good. Yeah, you, what did you say? Say it again. If it doesn't, if it doesn't make you cry, it's, it's not, not good, good enough. enough. <laughs> it's not good enough. No she gold just, out of the jar in this kitchen. So this jar. is going to turn into our gefilte fish. How many pieces, Mama, do you think we're going to get? Um, out I of this. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna look at this towel I just bought her. Look at this, you guys. I bought one for her and one for me. All the Jewish foods towel. <laughs> There's the gefilte fish. There's our hala. Matzah. So, how many fish do you think we're gonna get? Four to five pieces per pound of fish, depending on how big I want to make them. Okay, so we're going to be about 40 pieces of fish today. This is eight and three quarters pounds of ground fish. Remember, so this is buffalo carp, white fish, and pike. This is the recipe. This recipe, people, I'm scared to touch it. It's like the paper's so brittle, is about 50 years old. I mean, she wrote this down about 50 years old. The recipe itself comes from, you know, Poland days. But this was Grandma Susan's recipe, now it's Mimi's, and it belongs to us. And if I ever get around to writing the cookbook, this will be in there for sure, right? So this is a homemade gefilte fish. That's Luke. And um, I guess, are we ready to start putting it in the pot, Mama, or no? I think, let me just take the broth for a second. Let me just put this in the dishwasher. Okay. We're going to taste the, where are the comments? Oh, no, I don't know how it works. Ah, write a comment. Just say, hi. Oh, Sarah makes the cutest of Passover frogs ready to go. How cute is that for a Passover treat? <laughs> All right. So we're making homemade gefilte fish. If you're just joining us, it is buffalo carp, white fish, and pike. This is the recipe, even though the recipe is really for my benefit, not mama's. She's made it so many times in her life. Oh my gosh, how many times do you think, mom, you've made gefilte fish? Rosh Hashanah and Passover, well, yeah, twice a year for at least twice a year for 45, for 45 years. years. At least 90 times of gefilte fish. At least 90. And then, you know, she helped her mom before that, like we're doing. Oh, there's one of the eyes, you guys. It popped up. <laughs> when we first started this morning, the, the heads and bones soak in the sink. Or it could go in your bathtub. I know some people do that. Really? in just salted water and you see this eye and I just looked in there and all the eyes were looking up at me. And Bubby Sonia likes to eat the eyes, right yeah. Jeannie? Yeah. I know. Yes, she oh, does. it must be a Polish She's delicacy. No, but that's our broth it. and it for sure smells like a filter fish. fish. Does it? Does the broth smell good? It does, it smells delicious. The broth yeah. smells yeah. so good. There's two yeah. huge pots. As soon as I this, and then our gefilte well, fish are gonna go swimming. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, why are you not washing? I'm, I'm busy filming. Go wash the dishes. Well, yeah. 
What do you think? You're talking to Lovey and Eliana? Yeah, in my house, my girls do the dishes. She's never but in our house, Don't worry, we always do the dishes too when we're in this house. So we're making homemade gefilte fish. It is not hala. Hala. But it's gefilte fish. I see we have 11 people watching, but we're really filming it for posterity's sake. I don't know if, if nobody was watching. We just wanted to film the video. We've taken pictures and we videoed in the past, but after this past year, we definitely needed to film. Mimi Dali is the reason and the inspiration for Hala for Hala starting. And Passover last year, she was not well enough yet to make our homemade gefilte fish, so we missed it. And she we promised. Yes, yeah, she did order. remember. From the hospital, she remembered her fish order. So this year, we said we had to make it together. We had to film it. We had to take pictures so that it was not. Uh, it didn't get lost. Okay, are you done over there with the dishes? Go help her finish the dishes. I swim on me. Go over there. It's right? Not dishes. It's just the food processor, and I'm done. Okay, she's done with the food processor, and then our gefilte fish will go swimming. I just can't stand. Should I stop the live? Do you guys? Is anyone watching? It says nine people are watching. I, I, nine people are watching. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Meryl. Hi, Naomi. I miss and love all three of you that are watching. But showing you that 11 are watching. Okay. What? 11. Oh, 11, all people, 11 people are watching. Oh, 10. Oh, 10, 11. <laughs> Sarah signed on to say 11 people are watching. I think you're the 11. <laughs> Good, are you all? Oh, look, let's see. Oh my gosh, there we are on Facebook Live. Oh, that's cool. Here, I'll turn it around to us. Oh, does that work? I was like, can what, we watch? What are we doing? Oh, that doesn't work. I was saying, okay, because it's delayed. No, I was going to say, oh, there we are. See, oh. there we are on Facebook Live. Whoop, oh, there we are. <laughs> what time do you have to leave? Oh, to what time do I have to No, Dovey's supposed to be getting dropped off here from oh. Larry, and then he has to be at school at 1210. Oh, so okay. we're good. Oh, we're good. Okay. Perfect. Okay. All right. Now so I what's happening? To, now I just He's have to see you. Oops. All right, if you're just joining us, we are making homemade gefilte fish with Mimi Dahlia today. We've got two pots that have been cooking here for about an hour and a half with the heads and the bones of buffalo carp, whitefish, and pike, onions, carrots, sugar, salt, water. You can add a dash of white pepper, no black pepper. You don't want to see it in your beautiful gefilte fish. But we couldn't find the white pepper today and we voted against it. Yay. Does that, is that, do that again. Does that help you smell it? Yes. Is that a professional? Yes. Yes, this is professional. <laughs> <laughs> well, nobody's took my face in it. No. But... So, okay, some wait, that does the same some thing, though, people, Thank you very much. just so that you know, yes, some people, you smell it's yeah, Sarah's it's husband's a chef. chef. He does the same thing. Some people taste this raw mixture Ew. to taste for seasoning. We do not taste the raw fish in our house. Hey. But comment if you taste the raw fish mixture. We don't taste the raw Jeannie fish does. mixture. Jeannie does. Um, we just, we know, we've just figured out she's made this over 90 times in her life, right? Yeah. Over 90 times in her life. Um, she knows what it should look like. She knows right? What it the should, nose knows. And uh, this is our recipe if you're just joining. And we're about to now make our fish. Okay, so let me just figure out how to, I have to empty all of this so it's just clear. Okay, so you take everything out of this, of these pots. We take out the, the heads and the bones and the onions and the carrots. And we take it all out. And then we make the fish. They have to be oval shaped. That's important, right? The second, yeah, the other one. Put the other one down. I just felt like it was too little to put all the glass on. And we for sure all prepared our finest hairstyles and clothes for yes. today's video. Yes, we did. Yes, the very best for our Hala for Hala community. Okay. Very best for our fish. Very mm -hmm. best for our fish. The a fish is a labor of love. It is expensive, those of you that make it know. And open your windows when you make it. Yes, oh, why is your window not open? <laughs> oh, I don't know. 
Oh, yeah, open the window. I mean, it smells good, but you know, it smells. A little fishy. So, smell we'll say, hi, everyone. Hope your Passover prep is going well. See, I prepared for you the very finest. Hello. And um, hope your cooking's going well. Hope your cleaning's going well. Hope any way you're preparing for Passover is going well. And um, I'll, maybe some of you I've never seen you before, so I'll say a quick hello. Hi. So happy you're joining us today on our Hala for Hala little Facebook Live, Cooking with Mimi Dahlia. We're really doing this for us to save this video for posterity's sake. We were gonna do a Zoom, we couldn't get it together. Facebook Live, this way we'll have the video and we figured anyone else that wants to see how to make homemade filter sure fish. So, here we go. If you want to help me. Wait, want me to strain it first? So she always wears gloves I just, I just in general in the kitchen, but especially out. with gefilte fish. Uh, yes. Yeah, so Sarah's going to be straining it for us. I have a step stool. Yeah, you do. You're shorty. I have a step stool. I'm 5'6". Five, She's 5'-ish. Five 5'-1". Five one. Yeah, 5'-1 five oh, on a good day. 5'-1 on a good day. Here you go. Anybody want a fish? So let's see. You want an eye? There's the eye. Oh, there's the eye. <laughs> Bubby Sonia, there's the eye. <laughs> this is why I have a hard time, you guys. This is why I've made Matthew this This before. is why Mimi makes the gefilte fish. Whoa, there it goes. <laughs> Here, fishy, fishy. <laughs> so these fishies have been swimming for <laughs> over an hour and a half. That's a head. Ew, That's a head. head. <laughs> so we're just, you have to strain the broth. So we're straining the broth, the heads, the bones, the carrots, the onions, sugar, salt, everything that's in these two big pots gets strained out. Um, we don't save it. We don't save it. We put... Um, we save carrots. just the carrots that get sliced to go on top of the fish, but everything else gets thrown away. That's the best part. We don't make the, what, how do you say it, Mom? Koila? Oh, the jelly. The... How do you say it again? Oh. What's the Yiddish word? Yeah. Why am I blanking? Oh, now What's... that you said that, I'm blanking too. Uh, Yoach. 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 I said Yoach. it. See, I was close. Well, yeah. she tries, but it never gels. She, yeah, we don't. She likes it to gel, and we always say, please do not gel. I think we wish so hard it doesn't gel that it won't gel because we're not a fan. What's that? What's that? That's the collar. The white, the white That's a just string. Put it, just put it in there. I don't know. No, don't Take worry it out. About it. Yeah, we don't do jelly here. We just do uh, gefilte fish, sliced carrot on top, homemade horseradish. No. Okay. Yoach you know, here. Yeah, so, yeah, we've got, you see, we strain the fish, All right. and then we've got clear broth. Okay. Sarah's going to go on the other Sarah's side. Sarah's doing the same one. thing. But do you see the carrots? Here, I'll switch spots with you. Hi, Lukey. Hi. You're not going to like this. So here's all the, ugh. But the carrots, <laughs> the carrots get saved and sliced on top. Is there a way you can put this in? What are you doing? Just emptying this bowl a little bit. Oh, God. Why don't you take a market bag? It'll be easier. Oh, I didn't think of it. Okay. I can take a market bag. Here. Yeah, do a market bag. Yeah, do a market bag. Come on, people. You have 13 watchers, Mom. They're watching for you. If you're just joining, we're making homemade gefilte okay, fish with uh, buffalo carp, whitefish, and pike. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. fish broth mm -hmm. has been mm -hmm. cooking for over an hour and a half. Right now, we're just straining the heads and the bones and the carrots and the onions out of the soup. The carrots get saved. You see yeah, them over there? They get the sliced on top. You want, you want that one? No. Little slices. Oh my gosh, you guys tell the story of when Sarah dropped the fish. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, I sat on the floor and cried. Yeah, so you see it's a whole day. I was like nine or something. So you see it's a whole day of cooking, and it's really expensive. So Mimi had made her gefilte fish, and we had, was this is probably 30 so years ago, good. more than 30 years ago. And it was, I think, probably and it was, 20 minutes before guests were coming. And we had, you know, 30, 40 people over in the in the living room for, for Pesach Seder, or was it Rosh Hashanah? I don't remember. I don't well, holiday meal, and Mimi had plated it beautifully with her carrots on top, and Sarah was carrying the platter in to serve it, and, and what happened? She dropped it. <laughs> and what did you do? <laughs> she I cried. sat on the floor and cried. <laughs> sat on the floor and cried. You would, too. No judging here. You would cry, too. I so still he, feel guilty. I oh still. My God. Well, you're making up for it now. Look at that. I have, like, PTSD from... <laughs> Dropping the gefilte fish. I won't fish. carry the fish. I will not carry it. <laughs> so we're straining the second pot. We're taking out all those heads and bones, the onions, the carrots. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, we're going to oh. save the carrots. They're, you know, cut in big chunks so that they don't fall apart when they cook. 
and then she slices them to put them on top of the fish when we okay, serve it. Sure. Yeah. There's a lot in here. That's plenty. So we've got nice, clean broth. All those fishy parts are gone. And we've got our two pots of okay, girls. clear fish broth. All right, gloves. Okay. Here, mommy. Oh, this bowl. Yeah. You guys, this bowl is so heavy. This was eight and three quarters pounds of fish, and then of course we've got eggs, we've got onions, we've got all kinds of stuff. So this is a big, heavy okay. bowl of so filter fish. fish with me? I will. Sarah, you you hold this. Uh, okay, I don't mind either. Whatever you want. But let me, me put this in the bag first. Mark? Let me put gloves on. The others, the others. Let me put gloves on. Here we go. If you don't put gloves, your hands may smell until next Passover. Just telling you. Or maybe till Rosh Hashanah, she says. Until you make fish again. So I'm going to give my sister the camera. And again, we know this is probably not exciting to 99.99% .99 of you, but we're having fun. This is the first time we've actually been in Mimi's house together really at all in since covid started um we're all vaccinated just for any judgy judgersons out there but sarah and i are both still wearing masks to keep mimi and graham safe so we are just happy to be together and cooking and again we're really making this video maybe there's one of you that's interested in watching but we're really making it so that we can save it for posterity's sake um, we were going to do a Zoom, but it was just Sorry, too challenging. It's our family legacy, right? Sorry, I'm trying to put my gloves on as I move the camera around. And remember, Mimi's wearing her finest cooking clothes. It's a must. You must make a filter fish in your oldest shirt with the neck cut out. It's a must. It is written in the Torah. All right, so we're going to... Mom, it's heavy. Got Ooh. it? Careful, careful. Look how heavy this is. Don't drop it. So tell them what this bowl of water is for. <clears throat> Just to keep your hands wet so right. that they're smooth and soft so the right. fish doesn't stick to your hands or the gloves. And what shape do we make our gefilte fish in? Oval. Has to be oval. oval. It is a shanda to make them round in our house, just FYI. All right, so I've got my gloves on and mom's got her gloves on. I'm washing my hands, and I'm coming to grab the camera. And we're going to, we're, we estimate we're going to get about 40 pieces. So we get about four to five pieces of the filter fish per pound. And we've got eight and three quarters pounds of fish and then all the other stuff that goes in it. So we're aiming for about 40 pieces. This is how she makes it. So is this a quarter or a third? That's a quarter. Oh, I think it's a think half. It's a, no, it's not a half. A quarter? Oh my gosh, we're all old. <laughs> third. That's a third. a third of a cup measuring cup. And um, we basically just wet hands, scoop, and we'll show you. It has to be oval. So this is the shape we are looking for. It cannot be round. It's just they can't. Greg <laughs> Susan would turn over in her... Well, she's not really in a grave. She's having a tea party. That's what we always say down there. But she's playing cards, actually. That's what she's doing. See the shape? <clears throat> Beautiful. Yes. Oval. It have to be oval. Nice and even, uniform. And then they just go right into the pot. And that's it. How long do they cook for in the pot, you guys? About an hour and a half. How do you know when they're done? Is it like matzo balls where they like float? Or like, how do you know? They tell me when they're done. <laughs> Say that again, Mom. Yes, they tell me when they're done. Or tell her when they're done. It's, this is an art, for sure. Listen, she does not like, she taught me how to bake challah when I was a little kid, but she has no patience for the challah, for the baking, but she is the expert. Except she does make really good. No, she makes good stuff. It just, you know. She doesn't enjoy she the does, baking as enjoy, much. But the cooking, when it comes to this kind of stuff, So, Mom, in between each uh, oval, yeah. <laughs> in between each ball, yeah. uh, you just dip your hands in the water? Every couple. Yeah. Okay. Depends on I, how. I do every other because I, I uh, want to. Because if it's not perfect for her, I'm scared. <laughs> Once they go in the pot, she won't know which is hers and which is yours. That's right. Oh, no, she will. 
Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> Again, they'll tell her. Nothing as good as Mimi's homemade gefilte fish into the pot. So this is a third of a cup scoop we're working with. And again, we estimated 40 pieces. I'm thinking we're already going to get more than We're going to get more. So maybe if you do a half cup more, but this, we used a third Then they're bigger. Here. But then, but then we have then her too big. Seder and we eat throughout. It stays fresh just about the week. A week. Yeah. So um, we'll be enjoying this. Are the gala the geese are the gaz are the gats are the gaydy the gee the gizna the gather go go the to the give. No idea what you just said. <laughs> Which was so we obviously. will <laughs> we will end our live video. We just wanted to show you the process. Here we are with our homemade gefilte fish, our buffalo carp, whitefish and pike. And Mama Smile. Aww. The best. And we are getting these into the pot. And like we said, they cook for an hour and a half. And then what? Just tell them the steps, Mom, so they know. <clears throat> then we take them out of the pot carefully because they're quite soft when they're hot. So we take them out gently and just lay them down, let them cool. On paper towels, on um, a wrap, on a I actually shape. put them in, a, in large containers and let them cool in the containers. And then I pour a little of the broth in there so they... They have a little stay, bath? They stay, yeah, they have a little bath. Thank you, sir. Okay, and then you let them cool at room temperature? Yes. Okay. And the, then I refrigerate them until we're ready to eat. And do you put the carrots in the container with them or do you, yeah. when do you yeah. slice the carrots? I put the containers, I mean, I put the carrots in the containers with the fish. And then when I'm ready to plate them, I just slice them and right. put them on top so they look good. We usually slice them on a bias, so a little bit mm -hmm. of a diagonal. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's it, but we're for sure going to get more than 40. Oh, my God. That's... So if you're local, well, well the auction will start again. <laughs> <laughs> but, it's, no, for real. Um, if, you, uh, if you are local and you want to taste a piece of Mimi's gefilte fish, you will be in for a treat. Yeah, come to the desert. <laughs> Alrighty. Haksamea, thank you for joining us. Okay, so so Samea, everyone. I don't know how to end it. Okay. Bye. Bye, everyone. Let's end live video. Finish.